Hi, I'm Don. Welcome to my studio. Today's painting is for my colorful Kraken Studios Kickstarter article. So the main objective of the painting is to paint one miniature in 90 minutes. So I try to make sure that the painting process is easy to follow, straightforward, and very basic. This channel is supported by all these awesome brands. And of course, this channel won't be possible without the support of my patrons. So this is my green pop article at the Colorful Kraken Studios Kickstarter book. So this is one of my articles. I have a couple. This is the first one. And it's the painting of this Death Guard Plague Marines unit. And the idea is to paint with my usual vibrant colors, but to add a bit more weathering than usual, of course, especially with oils. I have a few old videos attempting to paint grimdark. I like the look very much. However, I tend to paint with vibrant colors. So whenever I try to do grimdark and call it grimdark in the YouTube champ thumbnail and of course call the painting grimdark, I always get comments that it's not grimdark enough, it doesn't look like grimdark, it's just a dirty whatsoever whatsoever <laughs> so now i'm officially calling my grim dark attempts grim pop so grim pop is basically using vibrant colors as usual and trying to make it pop so that it looks really nice on the table or in my case my display cabinet so with the use of vibrant colors, saturated colors, sometimes with acrylics or with oils, will produce a really nice models, really nice models that will pop on the table. However, sometimes you want it to look a bit more gritty or grim, not really grim, but gritty with a bit more weathering. It may be with like acrylic effects paints, with rust effects, or in this case with oils. And but at the same time you want to use vibrant colors, so thus I call now my painting style Green Pop. The article for Colorful Kraken Studio will be a bit clearer in terms of the painting process. I'll try to explain that I designed the painting process to be as straightforward as I can and easy to follow. The process that I designed is very simple but you have to use your airbrush to speed up the painting process. With the painting of the airbrush, you have to paint the shades already and of course the pre-highlight colors so that you have a complete so se complete semi-finished look at least to the dominant color of your model like in this case the greens. And then once you finish that, it's a matter of painting the details or the other elements of the model. Once you finish the painting all the base colors, of the other of everything like the tentacles and the horns and the guns and weapons once you finish all the base colors it's a matter of just using oils in this case oils of course you could use your acrylics but in this one in this article i use oils to finish up the model and the advantage obvious advantages of oils is that it's very easy to blend very easy to glaze with so i added more saturation with like with oils like turquoise oils and very vibrant flesh shadows with oils and also painted with some rust with oils and some verdigris also with oils because the, the the main advantage of using oils is that if you overdo it it's very easy to wipe off now oil washes are and oil glazes are very like the most common use of oils however i find it like easier to do highlights with oils because again if i overdo it i could easily blend it off or rub it off and also you can use smaller brushes as you, as you can see in the video because the tips won't really dry because the oils are wet for a longer time so you could use smaller brushes and thus it feels more intuitive it feels more natural to use small brushes for small details 
Anyways, I'll explain the whole painting process better with my article at the Kickstarter book from Colorful Kraken Studios. Now, before our reveal, a ton of thanks to all my patrons because without my patrons, this channel won't be possible. Now, I think it's needless to say, but if you want to support the channel, you could subscribe. I did help so much. Also, I'm trying to push to 40k before the year ends because 40k is Warhammer 40k. So, I'll be painting something big. Also, I'm waiting for like a care package from a partner then he said there will be some giveaways in that care package so that should help hopefully it would help push the channel to grow to 40k before the year ends hopefully before christmas and then also as usual the longer version of this video and which has a bit more explanation is at patreon and the article and even the article drafts will also be at patreon but hopefully you like this video and i have a link below of the kickstarter that will have this article that link is an affiliate link so i get a small commission if you use that link to support or to back the kickstarter so like i said earlier this is grim pop so basically, I've been trying to attempt to paint Grimdark for a while now, for more than a couple of years or a couple of years, and I kinda always fail. People tell me it's not Grimdark enough. So now officially, so that I don't get those comments, I will call my painting Grim Pop. <laughs> and it's, it's going to be the usual like painting style although maybe i'll add a bit more shadows a bit more washes a bit more dark glazes and shades so that it looks a bit darker but at the same time you use i'll be using the usual vibrant color so that it pops really well on the table and of course on or in my display cabinet It was actually hard for me to time the painting of these models because painting while recording on video or recording a few moments of the painting on video and of course pausing and taking pictures and all that will super slow you down. I'm not complaining but it will slow you down. But the actual process, I'm pretty sure you could paint one miniature in 90 minutes which was the objective of the article. And because the process is very simple and straightforward and hopefully easy to follow, I think you will be able to paint really good Death Guard armies with my article soon. The Chit Pan Chit, I hope you like the video and watch this other video.